This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Now, you already heard it earlier, but this is a content creator program video. This champion is only temporary. They will be removing him, but they've given him to me so that I could give you guys a first look so you can decide whether he looks interesting enough for you to go for in the crystals or in the arena. All right, so this is just a first look. We're not going to go too in detail. Uh, we'll save that for my closer look videos. So this is a rank three, Max Sig. Let's take a look at his synergies. Now, these first few synergies, I actually like, okay? So you've got one here with the visions. And you can see Armor Shattered also decreases ability accuracy and power gain of tech champions who rely on metal. That can be very useful, okay? Um, you'll see later on he can do some things to robots as well. All right, you've got this one here. Uh, this synergy with Iceman and Mysterio increases the duration of armor break debuffs by two seconds. And in a fight, two seconds can mean the difference between a win and a loss. And as we'll see, he applies armor breaks like crazy. Uh, seniors discount. You know, you've got the new clairvoyant there. You've got old man Logan and Captain America. Special attacks cost 15% less power. That can be very useful. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to throw more specials, uh, which means more damage or more utility depending on the nature of the special. And finally, you have teammates. That one just adds a perfect block chance. I'm not too terribly excited about that one, but these first three I can see being uh, the more useful. All right. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here at his signature ability. Whenever Arcus gains a non-damaging debuff, he has a 100% chance, that's at SIG 200, uh, to purify one of each non-damaging debuff and it cannot trigger more than once every 9.5 seconds all right so a non-damaging debuff would be an armor break or an armor shatter okay just to give you an idea uh, now he has passive he reduces the potency of power drain effects by 80 percent and the duration of power lock effects by 50 percent that can be very nice, all right? Um, so he's pretty resistant to power drains, and you'll see later on that actually uh, synergizes well with his other abilities. Uh, he also gains 15% less power from landing and receiving hits. So when you read that, think of Doctor Strange, uh, Symbiote Supreme. Uh, they don't gain a lot of power from landing or receiving hits or no power at all but there's always a mechanic that allows them to gain power. And we'll see that in a moment. All right, so power of smoke world uh, buff. Uh, he draws strength from the smoke world dimension at all times. He starts the fight with a power gain buff and gains one every 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds in this fight, unless he is nullified or something, he is going to gain a power buff, power gain buff, and they're going to stack. And as you see, they're going to stack up to five. That's a lot of power. So the longer the fight, the more frequently he's going to be able to fire off his specials. And if you have that synergy where specials are taking 15% less power, he's going to be a beast. All right. Uh, these buffs last indefinitely. So like I said, unless they're nullified because uh, they are active. 
The first one grants Arcus 4% of a bar of power every second, and every subsequent power gain is 33% less effective, diminishing returns. Uh, he also gains one whenever his power is drained. Remember I said we were going to see that synergize? So when he faces someone who power drains him, not only is he 80% resistant, but he's also going to gain a power, a power gain buff. Um, and he'll do that also with the power lock as well. Very nice. All right, now this frozen air is a lot of fun, especially for someone like me that likes to play aggressively. All right, so while he has a power gain buff, he freezes the air near him. Every two seconds, 2.3, uh, the opponent spends near Arcus, they gain an armor break debuff, decreasing armor rating by you know, 222 for five seconds. These armor breaks are capped at 10. All right, so uh, if you saw my video where I was fighting Arcus with Ghost, you'll notice that I kept dashing backwards because I don't want to stay there more than 2.3 seconds because I'll get that armor break on me. I won't be able to phase. But all hope is not lost because even if you get the armor break on you, if you're playing Ghost, for example, and you can't phase, just get away from him and they will fall off. All right? But of course, if he's being really aggressive, traps you in that corner, it's not going to be a good time. All right, so armor break debuffs on the opponent are paused when they are near Arcus. So that means if you stay close to him, they're not going anywhere. You're going to stay armor broken. Uh, while the opponent is near Arcus and they have an armor break on them or an armor shatter debuff, uh, we'll talk about that during the gameplay, uh, change is coming. Uh, they also gain a cold snap debuff that deals energy damage every half second. Opponents under cold snap cannot evade attacks. I liked reading that because these auto evaders, they've got something coming to them. All right, so the Spider-Verse champions, all of that, if you play aggressively, they are not going to evade. I like them already. All right, and here are his special attacks. All right, so hits from special attacks, that's all of them. Uh, they pause his armor break debuffs until the end of the special attack. That's going to play a very important role. You'll see during the gameplay where the armor break or the armor shatter is about to wear off. And you do more damage when they're armor broken or armor shattered. And rather than it falling off, you're going to be able to fire off your special, get the full benefit of having them armor broken because it pauses it. And then when it stops, then it will fall off. So as long as you start your special while they have that debuff on them, you'll get the full benefit. That's actually very nice. All right, so special one, each hit refreshes all the armor breaks uh, on the opponent. They thought they were going to get away. Nope. If the opponent is armor shattered, this attack deals bonus energy damage. So like I said, very nice that it pauses it. So if that armor breaks about to fall off, you fire off the special one, you're still going to get that bonus. All right. Special two replaces all armor break debuffs on the opponent with one armor shatter. For each armor break removed, this debuff lasts five seconds and reduces armor rating by 352.94. So basically, the more armor breaks you have, the longer the armor shatter when it gets converted by this special attack is going to be. All right, you can do the math, see how much uh, it's going to go. But I believe it's something like 50 seconds uh, max because I believe you have uh, 10 max armor debuffs. You fire off the special two, converts it to the armor shatter, and that should last for 50 seconds, which is huge, all right? While armor shatter is active, opponents cannot suffer from further armor break debuffs nor activate their armor buffs. Additionally, this debuff shatters robot champion systems 
reducing their ability, accuracy, and power gain by 100%. That sounds like somebody we know. Medusa. So now you have someone else. Uh, and we already have others that can shut down robots, but it looks like he can shut them down just as good as Medusa and possibly easier. That's going to be very interesting. Uh, if the opponent was already armor shattered, instead, this attack deals bonus energy damage. So you have that 50 seconds. You can build up to a special two, and now you're going to do more damage. And remember, everything gets paused. And finally, the special attack three. Arcus increases the area his abilities affect to cover the entire field for 20 seconds. Let me explain that a little bit. All right. You read how they get a cold snap as long as they're near Arcus and they have the uh, armor shatter, armor break, I believe it is. And... If they go away from him, they start falling off. But after the special three for 20 seconds, doesn't matter where they are. Okay, that is very, very nice. So the initial special attack three damage, great, that's fine. But in addition to that, for 20 seconds, if you have them armor, uh, armor broken uh, or armor shattered, see, so make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. Yeah. So armor broken or armor shattered, they're going to get a cold snap debuff no matter where they are, doesn't matter. Uh, if the opponent is armor shattered when this attack is activated, gain a fury buff, increasing attack rating by 20 seconds. Very, very nice. He's looking pretty good. All right, we're going to go into Realm of Legends, fight Winter Soldier. Remember, this is just a first look video, so I'm not trying to go in depth. We'll save that for the closer look. In this one, I just want to show you his specials and just talk a little bit more about this uh, armor break, armor shatter change and my thoughts on this champion. All right, so while this fight is going underway, uh, you'll get to see his specials. And you'll get to see how that armor break works and the armor shatter. Uh, you'll see me fire off each of his specials. Watch for the conversion of the armor breaks into the armor shatter. Uh, the special three. After the special three, look at the debuffs on Winter Soldier. You'll see that even though I'm not near him, he has a cold snap debuff on him and the damage, which is not bad. Now, uh, Vision Arc is, is not very suicide friendly because you want to spam those specials. You even have a synergy that's gonna help you spam those specials. He also does not have any immunities. That was surprising to me because like many people, I'm sure, were thinking of him as some other version of Vision, but he's not, okay? So this guy, he can be bled, he can be poisoned. Now, uh, there was an announcement uh, recently, and we were given a heads up that they're gonna be changing the armor break, armor shatter uh, abilities. Uh, previously, you could only have one of them on you. So like you see here, you've got the armor breaks, but once you apply the armor shatter, that was all you had. You didn't have armor breaks as well as the armor shatter. Well, now they're gonna be two separate debuff types. What will that mean? Time will tell. Currently, what it means is that there's a bug with Medusa that they're working on. They may even have it fixed by the time you watch this video. But Medusa should not change according to Kabam. Uh, she will continue to function the same way and with uh, Vision Arcus I believe he's going to benefit from uh, that change as well but what that's going to look like I'm not really sure so just something to bear in mind and, and also remember 
that after three months, they're going to be looking at the data for this champion and deciding whether he needs tweaking upwards or downward. Now, Vision Arcus, his strengths are his power gain. He has anti-power control. That was that 50% uh, on the power lock uh, duration reduction and the 80% uh, resistance, I guess, uh, from power, uh, power drain. Armor break and armor shatter. You read about that with me there. So those are his three main strengths. Power gain, anti-power control, and armor break and armor shatter. Now, his weaknesses. Anyone that can consistently nullify Arcus is going to do very well. You know, folks like Doctor Strange and Symbiote Supreme. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I have a video on my channel titled something like Symbiote Supreme Destroys Vision Arcus. So anyone that can nullify consistently is going to do well. Now, Cold Snap and Armor Break Immunity. So anyone that is Cold Snap immune, they don't really have to worry about it. And if they're Armor Break immune, and right now, that's only thing. However, Colossus, when he enters the game, if nothing else changes, is probably going to be armor break immune as well. Um, but cold snap immunities, you know, Mephisto, Human Torch, and of course Thing as well, these guys do very well against Arcus. Alright, so we're coming to the end of the video, and I want to talk a little bit about who this vision is. Now, I mentioned that I was thinking of him as Vision, and so I was surprised that he didn't have those immunities. But that's not the same person, even though they share a name, which is why I keep referring to him as Arcus. Uh, but Vision, this Vision, Arcus, is an alien crime fighter with a relentless smoking habit and controlling issues. Uh, the Vision, whose true name is Arcus, is an alien law enforcement officer from a dimension known as Smoke World. After being accidentally contacted by a scientist from Earth, Arcus came to our dimension to fight crime. He has the ability to control gases, smoke, and cold, even teleporting to the far side of the world using little more than a smoldering cigar. So that's who this Arcus is. Now, you heard it earlier. He starts every fight with a power gain buff and gains more over time. As long as he has at least one of those, he can inflict that armor break debuff. That's why if they're armor, broke, uh, armor break immune or if they're immune to cold snap, it really cuts away at his power. And if they can nullify him, he can't apply the armor breaks in the first place all right so he has some pretty interesting counters so that's going to do it guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you learned something and you know enough about arcus now to make a decision on him uh take care click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day